Hi guys, my name is Monica and you're watching No Rating Movie Review with HT City. And today I'm talking about comedy film Bunty or Bubbly 2, which is now showing at theaters near you. After just 15 minutes into Bunty or Bubbly 2, one realizes what a terribly written and poorly executed film it is. The original, which most of us thoroughly enjoyed when it released 16 years ago, was best left untouched. And director Varun V. Sharma should have just followed this rule. With Rani Mukherjee reprising her character as Vimi Trivedi, this sequel is nothing like the last one. Not even remotely close. It's a snooze fest that fails to engage or entertain and sadly doesn't even have any punches to keep you from dozing off. Bunty or Bubbly 2 never gains the momentum that you would want to see in a comedy film. Sharma tries way too hard to ingest references from the original and he barely gets them right. The narrative is sloppy and juvenile to say the least. The story revolves around a young couple, engineering graduates, Kunal Singh played by Siddhan Chaturvedi and Sonia Rawat played by debutant Shalwari Vag, disguised as the new Bunty or Bubbly, on a spree duping people using the name of the infamous con couple. And this forces the original Bunty and Bubbly, Vimi and Rakesh Trivedi played by Rani Mukherjee and Saif Ali Khan to return to the business, which they had mastered and left behind. Will the imposters outdo the originals or will the real Bunty or Bubbly regain their throne? Watch at your own risk. The film's first half is so slow and takes forever to set the ball rolling. Just when the second half starts to look slightly better, it soon loses grip. The scams that the young couple are pulling off are so not great and you just yawn thinking, OK, what's next? Imagine selling a trip to a fake country to some sex-starved pot-bellied men or giving the river Ganga on lease. Moreover, unlike the original Bunty and Bubbly, Siddhant and Shalwari's characters have no convincing backstories that would make you want to be interested in them. Perhaps that's why, more than enjoying the sequel, you are busy drawing comparisons with the original film. The only saving grace amid all this is Rani Mukherjee, loud and funny. It's fun to watch her on screen, playing Vimi with so much elan and bringing back a ton of nostalgia. I'm glad that the director did not try to change that one bit and it somehow works. Taking over from Abhishek Bachchan as Bunty, Saif Ali Khan delivers a decent performance, playing the quirky and goofy Rakesh. However, we've seen him do far better of him on screen, even in comedy films. Siddhant, after playing MC Sher in Gully Boy, had set the bar a bit too high and he's just about okay as Bunty without any wow factor. However, Shalwari is pretty confident for her first film and has a great screen presence. As a couple, however, they both looked sizzling on screen. Bringing in some effortless comedy, there is Inspector Jatayu Singh played by Pankas Tripathi, but there is no newness there also. And he has become too repetitive trying to cash in on the local persona and desi humor. The music also isn't anything that you would want to take back home. And the background score is way too louder than the characters are meant to be. You miss the feeling that a kajrare or the original title track invoked. Though the Tattoo Valier song in the credit is quite a visual treat. To sum up, Bunty or Bubbly 2 had all the right ingredients to serve a perfect dish but too much mixing left it with no great aftertaste. Such fine actors look wasted in a half-hearted script. Watch it only for Rani Mukherjee if you must. This is me signing off for now. See you soon with a new review. Till then, stay safe.